Okay, welcome back. This is part 7 of my file upload tutorial. And in the last video, we successfully uploaded a file to our uh, to a correct directory. We inserted it into our database, and now we're working on our download page. So, uh, we've connected to our database. We put in a simple uh, check to make sure that a file has been um, a file name has been given. So, now we have to create our query. So, MySQL underscore query. All right, so we need to select. Uh, we'll just say select all from files, which is our table name, where code equals our dollar sign file. So where the code. We're going to run a query, and we're going to select every single piece of information in our database. So we're going to select the ID, the title, the code, the description, the date. And we're going to select that, but only where the code in the database is the same as the file uh, that has been given in the description up here. So only when it's the same as that, then there's a legitimate one right there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use the numrows function. So MySQL underscore num underscore rows. And in here we're just gonna have our query. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that a file name has been found. So if dollar sign num rows uh, does not equal or we'll say if it equals equals one, that means a file has been found. Uh, then we'll display an error message saying it hasn't been found. So, over error, um, no file was found. Right there. So, no file was found, but if a file is found, so that means um, a valid um, code here has been submitted. Um, that means we're going to get all the information about the file. So, we're going to get the ID. And this is going to be equal to, so we're going to store everything in a variable, or variables, plural. And so dollar sign underscore, or actually, we need to create another variable, call it rows. And this is going to be equal to MySQL underscore fetch underscore ASOC, A double S O C, associative. Um, and this is going to be our query. Now, this is going to get all the information, except it stores it in, a, in an in an array. Uh, so now what we need to do say dollar sign ID. So we're going to get the ID of the code. So we're going to say dollar sign ID equals dollar sign row, and then our brackets and their uh, single quotation marks inside. And this is our ID. So we can just copy and paste this a couple times. The next one is the title. The next one is the code, which we don't need to get to the code because we have it technically in our file variable. And then we have uh, <coughs> um, description. And then dates. So we just need to put these right here. Alright, so we've gotten this information. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to simply display it, sort of. Um, we're, well, first thing, we're going to grab our title that we put up there, and we're going to display it right here. Except we're going to say dollar sign title. So that is the title or the name of the file that was given when it was submitted, so that will automatically be displayed. So everything here is dynamic. And then we're going to have our title, and then uh, PHP file upload. Is that what I put it as? So it's just the title I put on this other page, so that's what I'm putting here. File upload. So if we save and we refresh, you see we have nothing. Um, and if I just click on this link again, we have still nothing. Why is it still nothing? Title, row title. Hmm. 
Hmm. All right. Well, I am going to pause and figure out why it's not working. Okay. I figured out why it's not working because right here we have rows and right here we have row. Ah, we just need to get rid of the S. So we come back in. We refresh. You see, blank raw file, PHP file upload. So our title is now dynamic, uh, depending on what file has been selected. So uh, now what we're going to do is we're just going to pretty much echo out some other stuff. We're going to center this. And essentially right here what we're doing is we're just displaying the page, and we're just going to be displaying some random information. Now if you're making a legitimate site, you might want to put uh, something like your actual page that be able to download your file and whatnot. So in here, we're just going to put PHP file upload. So right there. So it just makes it big right there in the middle. PHP file upload. And uh, I guess we'll just put some these things in different echo statements. Um, and then after that, right over here, I'm going to throw it a couple lines down. Oh, get another text. Um, so, yeah, we'll just throw two lines down. Because since we put it in an H1 header, it'll automatically throw an extra line down. So if we refresh, it's not really going to show anything. But we're an extra line down. Extra three lines down. So now what we're going to do is we're going to display the description. And actually, I think we're going to center each of these. And, uh, hmm. Oops, there we go. So we have our description here. Uh, and you can see it's just like that. Um, yeah, I guess that's fine for now because we're not really going to be having very much else information. Um, and I will get rid of an extra line here. So that'll just kick it up one more. And I think I'm going to put a style just to make it look a little bit flashy. And we're going to say background dash color colon semicolon. And we're going to say pound. Uh, we'll just go with, I don't know. E-F-E-F-E-F. -E -E and I believe that is, you know, it's just this grayish color. Um, so, yeah. We will also put it a width. And this is essentially just me just doing random things here. Uh, eight minutes. Uh, we'll say a 500 pixel width. So you can see it's, it takes it over there. Which is sort of good. Uh, now that it's not centered, uh, we will change this to a div and this to a div, which it's not really doing anything. But uh, in here, we're going to say margin dash left colon semicolon, and it's going to be an auto. Uh, and then the right is going to be an also as width. See, here we have it just centered in the middle. And then we're also going to add a padding on each side of 8 pixels. Now, this you don't really need. It just looks a little bit nicer. You can see, just looks a little bit nicer. And our description will be displayed inside of this little box. Um, so, the other things we have to display are our, our, our date, which I don't think I'm going to display. But the last thing I'm going to display is a link to the download page. Um, <clears throat> uh, we'll, uh, 
Yeah, it'll be a link to the physical file. So a href equals, and this will be uh, files forward slash dollar sign file. Um, Hmm. forward slash oh I didn't really think about this until just now alright well I'm going to stop this video here because I've gone over 10 minutes technically which you might be watching it might be shorter uh, so I'm going to stop this video here uh, check out the next part